Hello, brothers and sisters. Hey, according to God's calendar in Exodus chapter 12, what he told Moses, he said that uh, the time of Passover, he said, uh, this will be the beginning of months unto you. This shall be the beginning of the year. So uh, according to God's calendar, 360 days per year, you know, well, uh, it's still the year 2023 on the Gregorian calendar until the time of Passover this year. That will be when the new year begins. And uh, so some of y'all might remember, I put this little video on back when my dad first died. He made his departure. We know that those who believe in him, they don't die. They just pass from death into life. And those who are worthy and counted worthy of that place, shall my end, heaven. They shall be as the angels which are in heaven. Hallelujah. So we'll see our loved ones again. We have that promise. Hallelujah. And if he comes before then, then uh, we which are alive and remain shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. And we'll be caught up to meet them in the air. So shall we be forever with our Lord and our Savior, our God, our heavenly Abba, Abba, our Father. So uh, I'm going to play a little short clip of this. It's about three and a half minutes long of what I was uh, had recorded back when my dad first died and uh that's when i first started putting videos on youtube but i'm gonna play a little piece of this and uh then you'll have an idea if this it could still happen during this 2023 while it's still 2023 according to god's calendar the new year starts when uh passover comes up which will be i think it's in uh uh what is it april the 20 8th maybe 23rd something like that but anyway if it happens this is what you will hear this is what you'll see and this is what you'll feel all right i'm gonna play this for y'all peace be with you shalom alaikum peace be unto you my name is clay just another piece of clay in the potter's hand you know who the potter is our lord and savior Yeshua, the messiah well, to make a long story short, I was working in New York City, and uh, I lost the song part. I didn't even know there was God or commandments or a person called Jesus, which is Yeshua. And uh, I called a phone, someone that I didn't even know existed, looked out the window and said, uh, if you're real, I've heard of you, and saved my family. The phone rang, my family got back together, and we came back to Tennessee. <clears throat> Through those circumstances of events, I made a promise with God that uh, that black book they call the Bible, I would get in it and apply it to my life. And so uh, he started teaching me through a few years there, three and a half, four years of fasting and prayer and studying of the scriptures. And uh, he was showing me all kinds of things uh, in his glory and all that. And then uh, I was telling my family what he was showing me. And, and uh, I guess I was thinking, they must think that, that I'm crazy. And so uh, one day I asked him, I said, uh, Heavenly Father, our God, uh, Joshua, would you let them, my family see something? That night, me and my wife were outside, and uh, she was saying, it's a beautiful night that our God has given us. Honey, and I said, yes it is, my dear, and I reached over to kiss her, and when I did, boom, all of a sudden, this big boom came, and I could feel the earth shaking under my feet, and hear the windows vibrating in the house, and all of a sudden, this blue fire appears in the sky, a blue light. And I was looking up at it like everywhere. It was all over the place, man. It was like it was like covering the whole earth. And then uh, she got scared around the house. Said, "I'm calling power company. What could they do?" But anyway, uh, when she went in, I said, "Tell Zara and Chris, our two sons, come out here. They were young then, and young teenagers. And uh, they came out, and and all that blue light folded inside of itself, and it went <laughs> kaboom right down over top of the the road down below the house and there was hot coals of burning fire in a big perfect square and it was burning like black coal that they used to burn in a fire and it was stacked on top of each other and it was dripping down and hitting the road and we were standing there for about five minutes me and my sons just looking at it watching it drip and fall along the road and the cars were driving by they would drive right through it because they didn't see it obviously but us four saw it as witnesses god wanted the witnesses to be there so that i could not deny that I saw it, and then I promised him I would look in his word and see what it has to say, and I went and found those things in the book of Ezekiel and in Psalms chapter 18 and 
all through the old prophets and stuff, when God appeared to them, there were always hot coals of burning fire. And so uh, that's that was in 1995 on the Gregorian calendar. And the thing, the sign of the warning about the end is uh, in 1995 uh, that happened. If you take the lunar calendar at 360 days in a year and you multiply that time the year that we're in now, 2023, well, it comes and then divide it by 365 days in the year, which Gregorian says there is in a year. Well, that's 28 years too much. And you take 28 years, subtract that from the year 2023, and makes it become the year 1995 again. He said, when the spirit of truth has come, that he will teach us all truth and lead us into all truth. And he would even show us things to come. So this might be a future event that's fixing to happen again. And so this is, might be a sign that's fixing to happen again this year, year 2023. That God's going to not just allow us to see it, but the whole world's going to see it as a warning to repent of all the evil going on in the world and to turn our hearts to his beloved son. And he wants Israel to receive his son as Messiah and Lord of their life. And so let us prepare. If he lets this happen, it's a warning. And if you add the four years in B.C. before that wasn't added to the calendar, well, if this happens and he's coming, after 2,000 years, which will be the third day prophecy, then being fulfilled, then that would only give us about a year from this sign. And so, I'm just a servant of the Most High God, in the name of His beloved Son. God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, who so believes on Him, calls on Him, and these last days shall be saved. So, if this happens, be sure, repent, repent, make our hearts clean before Him, for He gave His life for us, let us give ours to Him. Shalom and welcome. Peace be with you. So you see there, that was back when I first started recording videos. I didn't even know nothing about recording videos then. But anyway, uh, I wanted to re-edit that a little bit and put it back on there just in case it still happens before the Passover comes up and uh, we know what it's all about if it does. I just want y'all to be prepared. I love y'all and I'm praying for you. Y'all keep me in your prayers and uh, let us be ready. The king is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Shalom alaikum. Peace, love, joy, good health. Be with you all. Amen. And our Lord and Savior. Joshua.